I wake up every morning in a bed that's too small, drive my daughter to a school that's too expensive, and then I go to work to a job for which I get paid too little. But on pretzel day, well, I like pretzel day. Because they're acting all tough and everything. Uh -huh. what, what they were rapping about was cupcakes, the Chronicles of Narnia. Mm -hmm. God, who invented cupcakes, right? Um, I want to kill Hey, them. hey, hey, Phyllis, what are you doing? I'm just saying hi to Bob. No, I think you're cutting in line. Well, settle down, Scott. No, I'm not going to uh -uh. settle down. No way, uh-uh. Get mm -mm. in the back, please. Boom. 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 Back in line. Thank you. That's right. Mm -hmm. What a pair of Marys. This is pretzel day. <laughs> Oh, come on, it's not real, oh Stanley. Don't Stanley. have a heart attack. Oh, no, 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 no. You will not die. Stanley, Stanley, you will not die. Stanley, Stanley, Barack is president. You are black, Stanley. I'm going to give him mouth to mouth. No, 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 don't give him mouth to mouth for this. You're going to swallow his tongue. Michael. Open your mouth. Michael. Swan, don't swallow it. I'm fine. Leave me alone. I'm going to Save it. I am a victim of a hate crime. Stanley knows what I'm talking about. That's not what a hate crime is. Well, I hated it a lot, okay? I Look at those wrinkles. Blacks do crack, not crack the drug. All right, since I am the boss, I will drive as well. Who wants shotgun? You can't be serious. You ran a woman over this morning. Everyone inside the car was fine, Stanley. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. No, 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 no. Time to stop being polite and get real. Stanley, you having an affair? That is ridiculous. Of course not. Why would you think that? So it's not true. Okay. Well, oh, those interns, they told me they saw you at the club and they all said it was you. It was clearly just racial profiling gossip. The little damn. Told her it was a stupid idea to it's go up in the club. So stupid. It's just that. Terry's been traveling a lot lately. I know, I know. It's been lonely. Oh, I bet. I, I... Cynthia's been keeping me company. She was my nurse when I was in rehabilitation. We used to go on these long walks on the treadmill. I didn't intend... Wait, wait, wait. Ho -ho so it is true? Yeah, but Michael, I'm going to go break it off. That's where I'm headed right now. Oh my swear. God. Wait a second. Do people often say they're going on sales calls and then go someplace else? Because that's not cool. I just need you to promise not to say a word about this to anyone. Michael, please. I'm not saying a damn thing. I'm counting on you, Michael. Okay, you can count on me. I've got a golden ticket idea. Why don't you skip on up to the roof and jump off? That is not constructive. Like everybody's attention, Christmas is canceled. You can't cancel a holiday. Give it up, Stanley, and you will lose New Year's. What does that mean? Jim, take New Year's away from Stanley. Michael. I am the only one here who has a legitimate disability. Although I'm sure Stanley has had his fair share of obstacles. I'm not disabled, and neither are you. Okay. What does this look like to you, Stanley? Mailboxes, etc. Shut it. Okay. Why is she trying to take Stanley from us? I think it's because of my sales record. That could not possibly be it. Oh. You cannot take the hilarious black guy from the office. Stanley is part of what makes this branch so extraordinary. The bluesy wisdom, the sassy remarks, the crossword puzzles, the smile, those big watery red eyes. I don't know how George Bush did it when Colin Powell left. And if Utica thinks that they are going to poach Stanley, they have another thing coming. How can I get you to stay? Money. Yeah. We all want money. But there is none in the budget, so. Tell me why you're really leaving. Money. More money, more problems, Stanley. You of all people should know that. Let me ask you this. If I were... Money. <laughs> I like this. Maybe a whole theme, like a rap, a rap rhyme. An urban thing. An urban, yeah. Stanley, you want to help us out with that? Stanley, Earth is Stanley. Not me. Yes, you. Come on, Stanley. Put your little game down and, and join the group. No. Stanley, we're do having a little brain alone, damn we're having it. a brainstorm session. Did I stutter?
Good. This is good. I'm going to grab a glass of water. Stanley Hudson, you are fired. Are you serious? I am serious. We are all serious. You are fired like a heart attack. You're firing me over three words. Yes. Have you lost your mind? Do you think I'm going to let you do this to me? Hmm. I've watched you screw up this office for 10 years, and I'm filing a lawsuit, and I'm going to tell them about every stupid thing you've ever done up in this office. All right. All right. OK. You know what? Now you know how I feel. This was a fake firing. Lesson learned. Good work, everybody. Very nice. So I'm not fired. <sighs> That's it. And uh, do you have anything to say to me? Oh, yes, I do. You are out of your damn little pea-sized mind. What is wrong with you? Do you have any sense at all? Okay. Do you have any idea how to run an office? Yes. Every day you do something stupider than you did the day before. That's and I think right. there's right. no possible right. way right. he can right. top that. Okay. But what do you do? You find a way, damn it, to top it. You are a professional idiot. Hey, hey stop it! OK, everybody out. Yeah. Who? Yeah, everybody, except Stanley. I can't find my glasses. Okay, you know what? Why don't you take my hand what? and leave them and let's get out of here. Okay, okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. it's Michael versus Stanley and it is the clash of the titans. In one corner, you have Michael and he is mad. And then in the other corner, you have Stanley and he's mad. So that's about it. I don't understand why you keep picking on me. Oh, for the love of God. You just do, and I don't know why, so please help me understand. Fine. Here it is. You are a person I do not respect. The things you say, your actions, your methods and style, everything you would do, I would do it the opposite way. Well, Stanley, Maybe you are feeling that you don't respect me because you don't know me very well. Michael, I've known you a very long time. And the more I've gotten to know you, the less I've come to respect you. Any other theories? All right, you don't respect me. I accept that. But listen to me. You can't talk to me that way in this office. You just can't. I am your boss. Can't allow it. Fair enough. Hey, what up, Cynthia? Just hang on a second, Cynthia. Well, it turns out that Terry was already suspicious because she had caught Stanley and Cynthia a few months ago. So Stanley promised that he would stop, and he did. End of story. Well, not exactly. Uh, Cynthia kept calling him. She would not stop calling him, and she was in love with them. Oh, and get this, Cynthia also married. So 